Hey guys, check this out. My sister is here from Kansas City. She came to visit us this weekend, so she came over to the shop. So we're gonna do a little powder coating. Yeah. But, but the thing is, she really needs to dress the part if she's gonna be a real powder coater. Yeah. What you got for me? All right. So here is the project at hand. We are gonna be working on this nasty old tumbler here. Hey and now, that's my husband. <laughs> and it's nasty. <laughs> so we're gonna fix it up, get it coated, and make it look cool. All right. So, here we go. How's it going there? It looks um, pretty good. You know, I've applied a few lip butter labels. <laughs> it feels a lot like that. I'm not a real good lip butter labeler. <laughs> Amy actually has a super cool business that she operates. So it's called the Soap Challenge Club, and they do a bunch of different things with cold processed soap. soap, cold processed soap. And do you want to say just a little bit about what you do with the Soap Challenge Club? Yeah, so we have soap makers from all over the world who join us each month we do a different technique and try to do the best job that they can they enter their soaps to win prizes from our sponsors and everybody learns something along the way so it's really fun explain this process to me what are we doing all right so the reason we're putting this vinyl tape on here is so that we can media blast it and when we media blast it, we're just going to, we just want to make sure that we don't get media blasting around the edge of that cup. Okay, so it won't blast the tape off? No. Now that's a vinyl tape, and the media just bounces off of it. So you can, you can hit that tape really hard with the media, and it will not go through it. Oh, I am like a quarter of an inch short. <laughs> <laughs> One more piece of tape. That ought to do it. All right, then we'll head out to the blaster. Cups going into the media blaster. Yep. Close the door. Latch it. That's up. Yep. Perfect. Yeah. All right. Hands in the gloves. Here we go. All right. Foot pedal. pedal. Don't push the pedal yet. Nope. Get my. Hand in the blaster. Yep. Hey, what? Go on the other side. There, there you go. Yep. Now stick your hand into the. Yep. There you go. Now you can grip it. Hold the cup. Yep. Hold the cup. Push, hold. Hold. Uh, push whoops, the button. Get it going. Yep. Get it going there. Oh, there you go. Hold. Going. Hold it about. Uh, I don't know. Six, eight, ten inches away. Like that. Yep. Oh yeah. What's happening? So it's an aluminum oxide media. Just glass. I'm not left handed. <laughs> <laughs> the fiberglass tape then. Okay, so I think we're just going to stick it down and then cut it off. Forget about Forget tra about trying to get it straight. Yes. And then this is going to be a little different for hanging too, which is interesting. Because I was telling Amy what I typically do is I leave this gap about right here. I mask that all the way around and at the bottom too. I usually leave that alone and then just 
just prep the center part and then I have a way to be able to hold it. But with this one, since it the coating on it was already from the bottom all the way to the top, we're basically just gonna redo it like that again, but. You get all new clothes. We have a plan with these right here. These magic hooks are going to be the way that we hang that. Fiberglass tape is really stringy, so it's kind of difficult to, to work with a little bit. So sometimes I'll hold this out. Whoops, except I can't do that. All right, kind of hold that out while you're trimming. It's a two-person job just to trim tape. Yeah. Yeah, I, I never do this by myself, ever. <laughs> <laughs> so satisfying, though. Look at it. I know. Can we do another one? <laughs> <laughs> All right, so we're just going to spring these in here like this. This is how I do all my old Chicago mugs, is that this is how I hang them when I'm doing powder coating. So it's just a spring method, but the key is to use a bunch of them because just using one is not enough to, see like this needs to be opened up a little bit so it's a little springier. So, power of multiples will get us enough friction here to hold this. And then once we get the tape on the top, that'll help keep it from slipping. So then we'll just slide down through here. And bada bing, bada boom. Hang it. And we'll mask the top of this off now, too. Okay. I think. So we're just gonna go around here and try and get the top of this, the rest of this blocked off. There might be an easier way to do this, but. We haven't come up with it. No. And we'll just, the more tape, the merrier. You got enough tape? I have closets full of tape. Wow. <laughs> That's something I don't use with soap. No tape? Only to tape the liner of my mold, which most people use a silicone mold and don't do a paper liner, so I'm old school. Yeah. Uh, old school. I am too. I actually, I learned quite a bit of stuff from... You know why we're old school? Because <laughs> we're old. <laughs> Bingo! I learn a lot of stuff from guys on Instagram, watching them do stuff. Yeah. So, okay, spin. There we go. <laughs> I hope this works. This looks a little haphazard. I am a professional. Okay. We're just gonna set up the gun, and I think we'll just wait to let them see what it is, what colors we're using. Oh. So it's not these colors? <laughs> <laughs> yes, but they don't know. This this is a yeah. <laughs> okay, so the plan is we're gonna do a base coat on the cup and then we're gonna do a translucent top coat over the top. Those are his favorite colors. These are your husband's favorite colors. Yes. Oh. <laughs> I think you're that seems a little sarcastic, but everybody in the powder coating world probably knows what we're doing already, I'm guessing. But I'm not in the powder coating no, world. No, you're not. And once all of your Soap Challenge Club fans and followers see this, <laughs> so that I can get a million followers, a million more followers, because right here at Crosslink Custom Coatings, <laughs> we put out some amazing Instagram content, don't yes, we? Yes, we do.
to the oven we go. Oh Don't so drop it. Oh so gently. Don't drop it. It's warm in here. Pudding. All right. Close her up. It's almost time for the big reveal. Ay 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 ay. All right. Open it up. We'll just take a quick peek. Ooh. So here we go, second coat. Pull that trigger, stay back a little ways. Don't move so fast with the gun, maybe. Just a nice, gentle, just pull the trigger. Pull it. There we go. Now go around. There you go. All right. Stop there, turn the cup around halfway. Just grab the hook on the bottom. There you go. And then I have to touch it. <laughs> yep. Look at that. Oh, stand it. Stand it on the hose. I never do that. Oh yeah. All right, you're good. All right, here we go. Back in the sauna. Close her up. Do I need to do anything? Um, yeah, we can open up the oven. It's done, right whoop, now. Whoop, whoop. Let's see what it looks like. Shiny. All right, we'll pull it out, let it cool off, and then uh, take a look. look. Is it done? It's so pretty. Cooled down? Yes. Obviously, I'm touching it. Yes. Look, look at that, that color. All right, let's get it unmasked. Cool. Just start. Start peeling. Start ripping it off. Yep. And then you can be careful Pull pulling the little springies out of there because they'll, they'll pop out and hit you in the eye. Yeah. Uh, will it scratch? No, just pull them. They won't hurt it. All right. This looks like it'll take a little more effort to get it off. What happens if it leaves some behind? Do you have a method for that? There is a trick. Nice. <laughs> Basically, I'm just gonna take a blade and we'll just go around here and just trim that off of there. going to clean up that tape line. Just like that. Sweet. 